Hello! Science! I fucking love me some science, and there's nothing more scientific than peering at things through a microscope. Well, except maybe peering at things through one of those gigantic telescopes that's like as big as a block of flats, but I haven't been able to source a cheap one of those on eBay yet. So yes, microscopes, a great way of looking at very small things as if they were very big. Or looking at very small things as if you were very small as well. The dichotomy at the heart of science. But yeah, um, you can now get ones that record, as you probably guessed from the title of this video. And all they do basically is uh, snap a shot of what you're looking at and record it to a digital device. Easy peasy. You can also record video, but that's a bit pointless unless what you're looking at is writhing in some manner. And I don't think that is something I'm going to be able to reproduce. Although a family story goes that my granddad would never eat blue cheese after looking at a piece under a microscope and it was full of things writhing and living. I actually tried that myself a few years ago and didn't see anything writhing at all. I can only presume he was mad. However, he did buy me a microscope. This one. I've still got it. Look, this is proof. The Tasco 750 Power Microscope. We bring the world closer. Which is a bit of a creepy slogan. But yeah, um, it does all the uh, science stuff you want, as long as that involves looking at things closely, and goes up to 750 times, which is pretty damn close. But what always amused me is it says, include Super Slide and Spectrorama. That being the Spectrorama, some different coloured filter lenses. I love that. Spectrorama. It's not science unless you've got Spectrorama. I'm going to name my firstborn son Spectrorama. If it's a girl, I'll call her Super Slide. But yeah, it came with all the guff, including one of my favourite things in the universe, uh, a little pre-prepared slide of silver berry scaly hair. Nobody ever knew what silver berry scaly hair was, and to this day, I still don't know. I suspect it's something that only physically exists in microscope sets. Anyway, yes, he bought me this and I peered at things and it made me the man I am today. Uh, seriously mentally unstable and unable to concentrate for more than a few seconds. <laughs> I like hats. Anyway, where were we? Microscopes, yes. So, the first thing, everything that exists now has to exist as an add-on for a bloody mobile phone. So here's the iPhone microscope. Up to 100 times magnification for iPhone 4. Before magnification. After magnification. Yeah, completely um, indistinguishable. Yeah, great example pics, lads. Thumbs up. Ugh. That's reminded me of the phrase thumbs up for dingu, and I can't even remember what that was. Something strange from an earlier video. Probably the review of that dingu unit. Anyway, let's get back to the relevancy of this, which I hate, hate, hate. Now I'll tell you why. I bought this about six months or more ago, and it was £30. It was the only way I could get one in time for a review. Then inexplicably I didn't review it for six months, and you can now pick them up for about a tenner. Calm, calm. Anyway, yes, um, fit this nifty little gadget to your iPhone 4, 4S these days, and transform your handset's camera into a mini microscope capable of a hundred times magnification. Woo! This thing my granddad got me in the early 80s is, uh, goes up to 750, so that's like seven and a half times better than this. Humph. Oh well, small optics. I had to actually open it and put batteries in about six months ago, though I've never tested the thing properly. Um, Kind of hope the batteries haven't leaked and still work, actually. No, I think they were alkaline, they shouldn't leak. What's this? Oh, wow! Cleany cloth. Wow. It's not real unless it's got a cleany cloth. Pointless instructions, it looks so simple to use, it's unbelievable. Um, here is the back of the phone, which you will clip on and look. There's a thing to uh, attach it by. Focus, please. Thank you. And um, in this bag is the device itself. Are you as unexcited as I am? Are you finding it as difficult to open the bag as I am? That's the other question. Um, here it is. This is just the unit. Light goes in here, goes back up there, you look at it with your eye. There we are. Let it never be said you can't learn something from this show. Um, so this just fits in here, and my 30 quid is... <laughs> Did that just break off? That was weird. I thought it broke off in my hand. It didn't. That was a very... Yes, it did. <clears throat> Right. I'm just going to attempt to uh, calm down slightly. 30 bloody quid. Look, it's, it's just come straight off. The first time I've put any force onto... Oh, brilliant. Well, that's going to need some super glue on that later. Let's try and get it to sort of hold in a bit. Oh, no. Click, click, click. Oh, no. Not happening. There. That's 
kind of holding on. I wouldn't expect to get much out of it. Oh, man, Un unbelievable. I shouldn't have set it up saying it was expensive, should I? I set myself up for a fall. Right, <clears throat> well, let's get my phone anyway, and we can pretend <laughs> uh, that um, we can do something interesting with it. Clicky, clicky. And uh, I was going to say attachy, tatchy, but it's a bit late for that. But it's just Right, it's sort of holding. I will definitely need super glue for proper testing later. Do the battery still work? Yay! Because the problem is, these things get up very close to their subject, and of course, if you haven't got any light, you don't see nothing! Right, we'll leave it close on, which will be the maximum magnification, as is my understanding of how things work. Yeah, look, pull that back. Less magnification, more magnification. Oh, it isn't even on straight. Oh, it's stuck back on now. Hang on, we might be in luck. No, we're not. It's just... How much was this again? Oh yeah, don't remind me. Oh, no, it's staying. It's staying. Hey, look at that. I didn't waste all my money after all. Anyway, let's turn to the camera app and... Uh, oh, look. It's just showing the fluff on the lens. Can we magnify these instructions? Probably. Oh, yes, there we are. Look. Where's the, oh, God, hang on. I need 43 hands. Bear with me. You probably won't be able to see from this angle, but uh, I shall have to focus it. There we are. That works. Now if I bring it back up, you should be able to see a letter magnified. Wow. It's like staring into the eye of God. If God has the letters M and P stamped in his retina. If he does, think of the bizarre theological complications. Anyway, enough of that. Press a button, it'll record. Obviously, it's a bloody phone with that feature. Um, well, I'm not massively impressed with this so far. Uh, the two words spring to mind. Build quality. And two other words, which are far ruder, and I will not repeat here, but... Um, yeah, we'll have a proper roundup, and I'll take some pictures and show you after we've looked at the other device. USB microscope, because of course, everything that exists has to clip onto a phone or be USB. This has a 1.3 megapixel camera, which I will assume off the top of my head is going to be a horrible, cheap um, webcam just mounted in a thing. I think that's probably a pretty safe bet, actually. Um, 1060 times and 200 times magnification for making photos and recording video clips. Two integrated light sources. <gasps> Monsieur, you are spoiling us, including a box with 12 slides, five slides with preparation, seven empty slides, including table stand, picture editing software. Wow. I haven't been this excited since something completely uninteresting happened. This box includes USB microscope, USB cable, box with 12 slides. Oh, you've said all this. Oh, it's got brine shrimp eggs. Hooray! My other kit had brine shrimp eggs. Brine shrimp are what are sold under the name of sea monkeys. The idea being that you can grow them in a little pot or something and then slaughter them horribly and look at them under a microscope. <laughs> Would you like to know how much this was? It was 29 99 but I got it for 20 quid. Hooray! It came from... I think it came from Aldi, actually, the uh, supermarket chain, which is a slightly bizarre place to get a USB microscope, but there we go. Made by a company called Traveller, which is a really strange name for a company that makes microscopes. You don't think, hmm, going travelling, better bring me microscope, you never know when it'll come in handy. And the box is just basically plastered with pictures, yeah, I'll bet it takes that quality, um, telling you what's included with it. They're very keen on telling you it's got brine shrimp eggs. Perhaps they're worth a lot of money. Right, the thing itself is out of the box, because I set it up earlier, because it took about 50 years. Here's the book of words, we don't care about that. Here is a DVD containing a special edition of Uliad Video Studio 7, apparently. Wow. I'll bet that's exactly what Spielberg uses. Guarantees and guff. Ooh, and the box. The box of delights. Inside we have USB cable. That's quite important. Um, should have used that one to set it up, actually. I wouldn't have found another. A pair of tweezers for tweezing. Um, don't know how you pronounce that. Eosin dye? Eosin dye? Curl up and die? No idea. That's something for dyeing things that are clear, so they appear more when you're peering at them. Sea salt for feeding. Brine shrimp. Here's their eggs. Uh, gum media. That's for sticking things to slides, presumably. Ooh, a little specimen box for keeping the creatures in before you crush them to death in a microscope. 
and seven prepared glass slides and seven blank glass slides. How exciting. What's in here? Yep, here's the blank ones. What are the pre-prepared slides? I'll probably be showing you these later, so let's have a look. Apple. Wow, tiny little chunks of apple. How exciting. Broad bean leaf. Again, not massively excited by that. Uh, what next? Ooh, skin off Cthulhu. No, Hydrilla verticillata leaf. Hydrilla verticillata. What is that? Some sort of water weed, I think. Don't quote me on that, people. Some pollen. Well, that might be interesting. And onion bulb epidermis. Ah, because if you've got a microscope, you must look at onion skin on it. It's the law. Well... That was all very exciting, wasn't it? Thank you, five prepared glass slides. I look forward to looking at you through a thing. And here, wait for it, is the unit itself. Dun, dun, dun. It's like a microscope, only the same. Basically, it's all in this unit, which will be a cheap webcam, I'm convinced, um, with a big lens attached to it, and here's just a thing it holds in. Interestingly, it makes some sort of circuit when you put it in, and appears to be able to generate light, not only from above, but from below. Oh, has some batteries in for that. Um, helps you look at things easier. Anyway, I'll now plug it into the laptop and we can have a look. Get ready for the jump cut. Oh, oh, jump cuts make me nauseous. I don't know how those video loggers stand it. Anyway, um, here we are with a laptop, which will show us a direct feed from the microscope here. People who saw the proxy will probably be disappointed with the laptop. Um, I don't actually have one in real life. This is one I've borrowed from somebody else. How exciting. See, I should have seen my neighbour, Tom Bishop, and asked to borrow his cool laptop, but... I'll be honest, I haven't really seen him after the proxy. Um, we don't have that much in common, you see. He's entirely fictional, where I'm only semi-fictional, so it's hard to find common ground. Anyway, here's the point. Microscope. Screen. Let's put a bit of apple in. Oh, no, work first, actually. Let's work out how the lights work. Right, press it. The light goes on. Press it again. Oh. Ah, right, so the first one was a top light. second one's a bottom light. Oh, the third press puts them both on. I would wager you a pound to a penny that if you press the button again, they'll both go off. <gasps> I was correct. Send the money to the usual address. Right, let's have them both on for maximum lightings. And I shall try and put this apple, or whatever it is, well, I presume it's apple, they've written apple near it, so there'll be tiny samples of apple skin, presumably. I shall... Oh, so there's a big horrible hair on the lens, that's a good start. Right, so let's try and get it under. Um, we're on 200 times magnification. That's probably a bit much to be working out what we're doing. Knock it down to 60. Oh yeah, here we go, look. Oh yeah, man. Feel the science. And yet, also the apple. Um, pop that in there. A bit of focusing. Um, oh, that's pretty well focused, actually. Ah, well, there's that. Let's zoom in a bit more. 200 times, baby. We're going all the way. If this was some sort of 80s film, I'd be going, enhance! But I'm not. Enhance! Ah, did it anyway. Right, focus. Oh yes, here we go. Oh, it gets a bit indistinct at 200, look. Hmm. It's weird, these tiny little uh, patches of skin look like horrible starfish from another dimension. Come to eat our brains. Go on then, let's fill with the lights. No lights. Can't really see anything. Not surprising. One light. Can't really see a whole lot. We can focus. Focus isn't very good, actually. It's very woolly. It, it feels cheap and as if you can't quite get the right point. Try just the underlight. Still a bit washed out and nasty. No, it does seem to be best with both of them, actually. There we are. That's the best the focus is going to get. Um, let us capture a picture. Capture. Still image. There we are. Just notice there's actually a big button on the top of the microscope for um, taking a picture, so I didn't have to bother with all that. OK, we shall save that, and I shall now, through the magic of editing, blow it up full screen for you. There, look at that. Does it look as washed out as it did earlier? I can't tell at the moment, because of course it's something I'll have to edit in later. So, well, there's only one thing to do now. Time for exciting slideshow of examples from the two different microscopes.
Well, that ended quicker than I thought. Right, um, in conclusion then, microscope, phone attachment microscope. Do you see? Um, well, to be honest, this is a bit shite. It's just a cheap webcam, as we said. And to be brutally honest, you'd be far better served getting a simple, old-fashioned microscope and just not taking pictures, because it's so much clearer, so much better, and overall, king. Useless surf. Yes, not impressed. But whilst this is a little bit clearer, also making much smaller photographs, the fact remains that this has another use, because, of course, Anything you put under a normal microscope, you need to be fairly thin to fit under it and also for light to pass through it, whereas this works entirely from light from above. So you can just put it on anything and uh, magnify it, so it has kind of a use there. If you can pick it up for a tenner, it's a bit of a laugh. And then you can look at weird spots on your skin, magnify them and convince yourself you've got a melanoma or something. So there we are. In conclusion, science. And now, by popular demand... Pyromania is magic.